This lesson is about multiplying binomials. Sometimes uh, a lot of teachers use the phrase FOIL to do this. Some teachers are don't like FOIL and have other techniques, um, but I think FOIL is the most straightforward technique. It's quick. Um, you might have learned a technique in like drawing a picture or a square or something like that, but uh, and that's fine, but in truth you want to be quick, so uh, depending on how fast that is, that may be slowing you down when most people can do it um, really in their heads. And eventually, honestly, even the last lesson we do here, you have to be able to do multiplying binomials in one step in your head because uh, later on you're doing it backwards and you don't have the luxury of um, writing it out. So um, this is something that's very important getting quick at and getting good at. So let's do just two examples of this. Okay, let's do these two examples. The first one, x plus 2 times x minus 5. I'm going to describe this the FOIL technique. Again, if you have other ways of doing that's fine. There's nothing really magical about FOIL. You can use, I frequently joke, LOIF if you prefer. Or you can choose OLIF or um, any other variation of these you want. You could do file. It doesn't matter. The key is you have to do one of each thing. You have to do first, you have to do outside, you have to do inside, you have to do last. The order does not matter, but doing it in the FOIL order is preferred. Uh, file wouldn't really matter, but doing it first, first, and last, last usually, usually puts them in the right order. So we're going to try to do that. Let's get rid of all this, though. Maybe I should leave FOIL up there, though. So the first thing I'm going to do is first. And, and multiplying the first here. Where is that? There we go. First of this times the first of this. And that's going to get us x squared. Then I'm going to multiply the outside. Uh, this one and this one, they are on the outside. They're the protectors of the binomial. Uh, not really, but you could think that. Um, and x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Then I'm going to do the... What other color should I use? How about pink? Uh, the insides, the eye of foil. So let's see how I can mark that. Um, this part and this part. These are the insides. 2 times x is 2x. And finally, I do the lasts. What color should I use? Red. So that would be 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. So um, you multiply these all out, and you end up with... Uh, oh, and by the way, there are four terms, and typically in FOIL, the outside inside, I frequently call it the OI of FOIL, are like terms. So combine those, becomes negative 3x minus 10, and you've done it. This is something we do very frequently in math, um, especially on Algebra 2 and beyond. And like I said, to, get, to be able to do what I'm going to show you uh, in the last lesson, you really have to be able to, to uh, foil well. So hopefully that's coming along for you. Um, so you, you could multiply things like that. I could do an example where I put some numbers in, or some things like 2x out front. Um, I'm not going to do that here, but... You should be able to do those as well. Let's do our last example. Okay, the last one is going to be, uh, actually I was showing you what would happen if you had a 2, or telling you about you need to know how to do it with a 2x or 3x or 7x as the coefficient of your x part. Well, here I'm kind of going to do that. I'm going to do 2x minus 9 quantity squared. Now here's what is not good. You cannot do this, so maybe I'll do this in some really bad color. How about white? No, we won't be able to see white. Although, it'd be nice not to see this error. It's going to be that ugly. Um, so, do not try this. Four, 2x times 2x, 4x squared, negative 9 times negative 9, 81, and think you're done. No, that does not work. Um, the safest way to do this, eventually, probably in Algebra 2, maybe in College Algebra, Pre-Calc, or something like that, you'll be able to do this in your head. But for now, when you see a square on a binomial, Write it twice. Just write it twice. There's formulas that you can memorize to simplify this, but I don't think we're probably ready for that yet. Just write it twice. And now it's just like what we did in the previous slide. You just foil them. 
or whatever technique you like to use. I'm going to FOIL. So first times first, 4x squared, 2x times 2x. Let's just review that. 2 times 2 is indeed 4. x times x is x squared. That's where that comes from. Outside, minus 18x. Inside, hey, another minus 18x. That's going to happen on these kind of problems. And then last, positive 81. Uh, these do not go away. Uh, negative 18 minus 18 is negative 36x. Of course, this doesn't go away either. 4x squared minus 36x plus 81 is our answer. So notice that sad orange example over here didn't have the minus 36x. That's, that's significant. Um, and this is just an error that math teachers really don't like to see. So um, play it safe. Rewrite it without the square. Just write it twice. Foil it. And you're so hope that makes sense. Um, hope this helped. See you next time. Made with DoodleCast Pro.